guys welcome back to my youtube channel i just want to wish you guys a happy new year happy new year happy new year now for today's tutorial i'll be making use of a five ply new cotton yarn i'm going to be doubling it i think i'm kind of guilty of doubling yarn okay yeah the reason why i do that is because i want my work to work up really fast yeah that's why i do that so you don't necessarily have to double your yarn you can just actually work with a single strand of yarn and it will turn out very fine and even maybe more beautiful than mine did so because i'm doubling the yarn it's going to be a chunky yarn so i'll be making use of a six millimeter hook but if you're working with like a single strand of yarn i would advise that you make use of a four millimeter hook you can also make use of a three millimeter hook depending on which is more comfortable for you or maybe you can just go with the yarn recommendation now let's get into the tutorial now to begin we're going to make a slip knot In case you've not done a slip knot before, this is how you make a slip knot. Take your hook like this, go into the yarn. Now hold it together. Yarn over, pull through, and tug at it like this. Then this is how you make a chain. Yarn over, pull through. So now the next step is to chain the total number of chains that would amount to whatever um, measurements that you got. For me, I'm going to chain a total of 52 chains. That would give me 22 inches. So I'm done with my 52 chains, please remember that when you are making yours, it should be a multiple of 3 plus 1. So now the next step is to chain 2 extra. And now I'm going to skip 3 chains. And place a double crochet in the nest but now instead of placing a double crochet in here we are going to turn our foundation chain like this yarn over and this is how you make a double crochet so we're going to skip this this and this and place a hook in here yarn over go through now we have one two three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. So now we're going to be making a double crochet in each of the foundation chains that we made till we get to the very end. About to place your hook in the back loop only like so so repeat the process till you get to the very end of the row so I'm almost at the end as you can see I have just one stitch remaining So I'm done with row one. The next step now is to chain five. So 
the first chain 3 that you made counts as a double crochet stitch and the two chains extra counts as a match stitch so now you're going to turn your work and skip two stitches two double crochet stitches remember this already counts as a double crochet stitch so we're going to be skipping this and this this and this so we're going to place our double crochet in the next stitch and chain two skip two stitches and place double crochet in the next stitch chain two skip two stitches and place a double crochet in the next stitch then chain two skip two stitches and place a double crochet in the next stitch this is what you should have so you're going to repeat this process till you get to the end of your row I'm almost at the end I've already done my chain 2 so I'm going to skip 2 stitches and place a double crochet chain 2 skip 2 stitches and place a double crochet now you know we did 3 chains here so I'm just going to place my double crochet on the very first chain and that's it for row two but i would like to loosen this because i'll be adding another color so if you're not adding another color you can just continue without going through this process so for me i'm going to be adding my pink yarn now i'm going to go in with my pink yarn yarn over pull through then chain three so now we're going to be making the row that we did here as rows without any chains so now you're going to turn your work and go into this chain space and make two double crochet so i like to kind of carry my yarn as i walk I've made two double crochets so we're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch that's this double crochet underneath the reason why I'm carrying my yarn as I walk is to make it easier for me to hide my loose ends so now we're going to repeat by making two double crochets in the chain space By the time you're done with this row you should have the same number of stitches that you had at the beginning so now i'll be placing a double crochet here in the next stitch then two double crochets in the chain space double crochets in the double crochet stitch two double crochets in the chain space so this is what you're going to do till you get to the end of the row and i'll meet you guys when i'm almost at the end of the row i'm almost at the end of my row three so i'm just going to go in with my two double crochets into the chain space then i'm going to place a double crochet on the third chain That we made here remember i told you that three chains count as the double crochet then the remaining two chains is our chain space now i'm going to be switching back to my green color the color scheme i'm trying to work with is two rows of green one row of pink you can decide to stripe yours in whatever stripe pattern that you like so now i'm going to be attaching my green yarn so for row 4, you're going to attach your green yarn 
like you did for the pink. Now you're going to be chaining five. This sweater pattern is just a repetition of row one and two. So you're going to basically have one row without any chain spaces and the next will be a row with chain spaces. So remember we did five chains for here. You're going to be doing five chains for here as well. Now turn your work. Keep two stitches. Remember, this counts as a double crochet and chain two space. So now you're going to skip two stitches and place a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, skip two stitches, place a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. Skip two stitches and place a double crochet in the next stitch. So you're going to repeat this till you get to the very end of the row. So I'm almost at the end of my row four. I'm just going to chain two and remember you're going to be placing your double crochet on the very first chain or third chain you're counting from down upward this is going to be your third chain you're counting from the top to down this is going to be your first chain and that's it for row four so this is where we are going to stop because i said this pattern is basically a repeat of row one and row two without the chain space with chain space without the chain space with chain space so you're just going to keep repeating row one to row two till you get to the measurements that you're comfortable with i'm going for a cropped sweater so i'll tell you guys how many inches i made for my cropped sweater but remember you can also make yours a very big sweater funny enough you can actually make yours a shrug if you want to you just have to make this shorter now i would go ahead and make mine and tell you how many rows i did and how many inches mine measures so guys i'm done with mine and i did a total of fourteen rows now this measures about 11 inches and i'm perfectly okay with this since i'm intending to achieve a crop top look the next step is to create the neckline area now um this depends on you depends on how wide you want your neckline to be i don't want mine to be really wide but i want it to not be too small the best way to determine this is to place it around your neck and just place your stitch marker where you want your neckline to start or end. For me, I'm going to make mine 11 inches. So this is where mine will start and end. So now the next step is to attach our yarn and create the neckline. So go ahead and attach your yarn like we've been doing. So we're going to chain three since this is the row without chain spaces. Then turn your work and make double crochets in each stitch till you get to where you placed your stitch marker. For me, I'll be making double crochets in 13 stitches. Yours might vary depending on how wide your neckline is or how many stitches you made initially so make sure to measure your neckline mine is actually 11 inches 
yours might be smaller yours might be bigger the size i'm creating this for it's a size large So I have a total of 13 stitches made. Now the next step is to chain one and cut. So go ahead and repeat what you did here for the other side as well. Remember to make the same amount of stitches that you made at the other side for this side as well. Attach your yarn and chain 3 like you did for the other side. Then place double crochets in each stitch till you get to the very end. So for me, like I said, I'll be making a total of 13 double crochets. So I'm done making both sides of my neckline. And let me just show you guys the measurements. As you can see mine measured 11 inches which was what i was going for so go ahead and make another panel exactly like this and i'll see you guys when i'm done with mine so i have both of my panels made already so now the next thing we're going to do is attach our neckline both sides of our neckline together it's very important to note that wherever you're going to be attaching your work at, it's going to be the back of your sweater. So just turn both panels to the back, like to the side that you want to be the back of your work. And now we can now stitch both sides together. So I'm going to be seaming both sides with a slip stitch. So to slip stitch your work through, Go into the first double crochet you have here and into the first double crochet here. This should be the chain tree that you did earlier. So just place it into the first chain. Now, yarn over, pull through and chain one. So now you're going to be slip stitching into each of the stitches. Once you place your stitch into the next double crochet, you look for the next on this side as well. And slip stitch into this and into the next slip stitch so just do this till you get to the end of your neckline here for this side So once you get to the last, you're going to chain one and cut. Once you get here, chain one. This is how it looks. Then cut. Now go ahead and do the same for this side, for this other side as well. So I'm done making my neckline area. So now we're going to be joining the sides together like this to create space for the armhole. Since I want my sleeves to be a bit big, I'll be leaving a total of 8 inches for my sleeves. And that's a total of. So now, once you identify where you want your sleeves to stop, you can place a stitch marker. Then you would now connect these two panels with a slip stitch. So 
So guys, I have finished seaming both sides together and I tried this on and discovered I actually like it without the sleeves but since I already promised to make this a long sleeve sweater I'm going to show you guys how to crochet the sleeves now all you have to do is to turn your work to where you created the armhole and we'll start off the sleeves you're going to look for where you attached to join for the top by the side and in the stitch close to it go in with a double crochet this is where I did mine so I'm going into this green with a double crochet Then you're going to place another double crochet by the side as well into this space. Then into the next double crochet, you're going to be placing two double crochet in. We're placing two double crochet along the side of our sweater till we get to those parts. So just do this till you get to the place that you started from. I'm almost at the end. Now you're going to identify where you joined, where you did your first slip stitch to join. Which is here and place a double crochet in it. Like so then connect with a slip stitch now for me I'm going to be changing colors so if you're working with my stripe pattern you will stop here and change your color so I'm going to go in with my green yarn and chain and chain three like so so sorry, chain five because this is going to be the row with the chain spaces. So now on your work to the other side and skip two stitches like we've been doing and place a double crochet chain two, skip two stitches. Place a double crochet, chain two, skip two stitches, place a double crochet. So you're going to do this till you get to your five starting chains that you made. I'm about to tuck this and hide it. So guys, I've gone around with my double crochet and chain two. So I have two stitches remaining. I'm just going to slip stitch into the third, the third stitch here. So this is just us repeating what we did for the body, but we are working in the round. So now chain three, turn your work like so, and now do what we did for the body. That is two double crochet in each chain space then one double crochet in the double crochet stitch underneath two double crochet in the chain space so go ahead and repeat this till you get to your starting chain
I'm still repeating my stripe pattern. That is one row for the pink and two rows for the green. So I've come to the end of row three for the sleeves. So I'm just going to slip stitch in here. Now I'll be changing my colors. So this leaf pattern is the same with what we did here. So you're going to do another row of one double crochet, chain two, then the next row of just double crochet without any chains like we did for the body. And the only thing now would be that you are slip stitching when you get to the very first chain that you need and you're walking in the round. So just repeat the pattern till you get to your desired length for your sleeve. You can keep testing as you walk on your body to see how many sorry turn your work remember to always turn your work you can keep testing it on your body as you walk to be able to know when you've done enough rows so just keep repeating the pattern and I will meet you guys when I'm done with mine. I don't want this video to be long, so just repeat the pattern. I'm actually done making my sleeves. I did a total of 21 rows. So I'm just going to slip stitch and I'm just going to slip stitch in here chain one and cut so my sleeve measured 20 inches and after making your sleeve next step now is to create the second sleeve so just do exactly the same thing that you did for here for here and I'll see you guys when I'm done mine. Now I've come to the end of this tutorial. This is how it looks like. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel.